Hi everyone, it's me Maria with Nail Nation and Nail Nation 3000. Um, just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this design here. Which you can see it's super, super simple. And you can change it up to suit your needs for your color tastes and um, just for maybe whatever you're doing the design for to match clothing and so on. Um, some people said they'd like to see it, so I'm just going to do a quick one. To save time, I left on the original um, design that I had initially done, and just we're going to start over with the thumb. And as you can tell, the color is much brighter on my thumb, and I'll show you why. Um, what I used was Ladies and Magenta Men by OPI for a base color. And for my base coat for this, I actually um, used OPI Natural Nail Base. Um, I do wear acrylics, but you don't necessarily have to um, not use the natural nail base. And then um, I applied two coats of a holographic top coat that I made using Spectra Flare and using um, the, D the DS top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat here. And then I'm just going to wait for a moment and put a, another coat, and I'll go ahead and show you what else we're going to need. So what you're going to need is a plate like this one. Um, I used these two designs here, and this is A29, and this is from BeautifulScratchers.com. For my silver, I actually used Color Club What a Drag. Um, it's a little more chromey looking, um, even than the DS Radiance, um, and a little more um, smooth looking than the City Girl um, by Sally Hansen's Extreme. But you could use really any of them or any really bright silver like this. And of course, you'll need your scraper and your stamper. And for a top coat, of course, I use Sush V, but you can use anything you like and a fine tip brush. Some of you may even use um, toothpicks or dotting tools for the detail lines. And then I just put a second coat on of my holographic top coat. Now you don't necessarily have to have a holographic top coat to do something like this. Just use a really pretty shimmery or pearl um, pink if you're trying to do the same exact color and then as it dries it actually will turn um, more pink like this. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and do our stamping. Okay now after you have applied um, your base color or your um, layers of holographic top coat, um, whichever way you may be doing it, we are then going to take our stamping plate, and if you have something that's similar to this, um, you know, by all means, just use your favorites. It doesn't necessarily have to be identical to this. Just something along the lines will give you the same effect. And what I used for this was the purple, the regular purple uh, Conad stamping polish. And you will need a couple of gauze or cotton wipes, one with remover, and also you will need one without. Um, that's to wipe clean and dry your stamping material. And we're only going to do two stamps on each nail. So what we're going to do here is you apply a liberal amount of your polish. And then roll the stamper over your image. Remove any of the excess design that you may not want. And as you see here, we did purple and then white. So you're going to do your purple at a little bit of an angle and roll it across just like this. Now all you're going to need to do is repeat that with the white. And since this was two designs that are opposing one another, um, I used the opposite design facing the other way um, for my white. If you have two that are the same, that is no problem as well. So we apply a liberal amount of white, and I just used the white stamping polish as well for this. And then, of course, here you can take a Q-tip to remove your excess. This was just a little bit, so I scraped it away. And you're going to take it facing the same direction, but at an angle. And you're going to leave a little bit of a gap there, just like this. 
And of course, as always, you want to clean your plates and your stamping um, scrapers immediately because the dried polish can cause you to have a problem next time that you're doing any image work with your stamping plates. So now I'm going to take my palette here, which by the way, a lot of people ask about this. Um, this came from the Wow So Cool website with the Conad stamping image um, kit. So it was just something that comes with that. I don't know if you can really get them by themselves. And that was about $21 for the set. Um, and then what we're going to do is you just take a little bit of your silver here, which this is What a Drag by Color Club. And we take our fine tip brush here. And you want to apply a liberal amount to the brush like this. And just in a few places, we're going to create um, sort of a viney effect. And you just want to kind of pull it in different directions and kind of let it um, come to a finer point. And you're just going to do this in a couple of places. You could even do sort of an arch. You could even replace this with um, dots even if you um, don't have a brush or you just like the effect of the dotting tool. Of course, you could always do that. And you just want to do this in some of the gaps on the nail. Don't overdo it though because you don't want to take away from your stamp design or your pretty base color. just like this. And then you're just going to simply apply two coats of base coat and you'll be done. And like I said, you can always use any um, of your favorite colors. Um, you, they don't have to be holographic. I just really liked um, the way the holographic top coat changed that pink. Um, so that's why I did it that way. But you can use any color or if you just have a a hollow by itself that you like as well and see it's just a really simple easy style to do and you can always do this of course also on the tips or leave a half moon for an extra effect and just a quick simple design hopefully this was helpful and if you have any questions just feel free to ask thank you